Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am the Pixel Voyager, and today we're blasting off into episode two of our For the Worthy playthrough. Had a very productive episode one, so hoping to follow it up with a productive episode two. Uh, if things go well, maybe we fight a boss today. We'll just have to see how things go. We'll see what we can find in the next little bit here. So, yeah, we have lots of things to do today. Uh, I already have a nice vanity set here looking very much like a uh, trademarked Disney character from the 90s with a recent re-release. Uh, and I, I like the vibe so far. So we're going uh, full Aladdin look here. So we are hopping back down underground. Uh, there is a mushroom biome down here, I believe. I would like to find said mushroom biome. I might be on the wrong side of the world, though. It's uh, been a day or two. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to proceed. Uh, I am dodging a giant worm as we speak. And trying to get to this heart crystal here. Uh, that was a lucky dodge. I won't pretend that it was anything but that. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's kind of how Master Mode goes. Okay, I've decided I'm going to come at this heart crystal a different way because, number one, I, uh, well, ad admittedly died to the dart trap one more time, just hopping over there. It was dark, okay? Give me a break. Uh, and B, I happen to catch this gem tree over here. So, I do want some topazes. Uh, I have collected quite a few already, and I'd like some more so I can get myself a nice hook. Uh, lucky I put that torch down. I see you here. Get that out of my life. I see... Well, I thought the pressure plate that I was going to grab was in a different spot. It wasn't. So, am I just going to bleed out? No, I have some potions. You hate to waste them right now, but you got to do what you got to do. Some emeralds right here, too, but uh, not quite what I'm looking for at the moment. So we're going to hop down here and grab this heart crystal. This is the one we've been looking at. I am watching very carefully for traps now. And bing! That shows me at 180. So coming right along. Uh, let's go ahead and hop on the mine cart even though I still feel like it is a death trap. Uh, a gold chest there I have already looted. No worries. No worries. Down here, another gold chest I have already looted. We're not concerned with that. We are concerned with this mushroom biome. We will go ahead and grab some of this. If I can get some seeds, even better. Uh, life bombs everywhere. A An early nymph. Uh, not good. But I think we're fine. Let's just uh, get him out of my life. Get him out of the way. I am not here for any of these things. I'm here for you. And you. That is another mace. Our third mace. Now I'm going to be in a bit of a bad spot. I got shroom bats. I got bombs. I got nymphs. I got murdered. Which is okay. That... That's fine. I see another gold chest down here. We are going to hop down and grab that. Well, this mushroom biome just wants to be very uh, unfriendly right now. We've got black slimes. We've got salamanders. All of the terrible things that we would rather not see. But I do have a good supply of grenades. I was trying my best not to waste them. Uh, but I have a lot of them. They are cheap, and I need to get this done. That's a piranha. Oh, boy. Alright, well, this actually feels okay. Uh, the problem I'm going to run into, I'm just going to go ahead and predict it, uh, is I'm going to drown. Yeah. Can't breathe underwater. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> the decision paralysis trying to uh, figure out how to proceed. But, yeah, if I had tried to dig that out, those slimes were going to murder me anyways. Because, yeah, 
water spills out, the slimes are allowed to get in. Bad times were had by all. Hey, fun fact I didn't realize about 1.4. I uh, never realized that I could take my regular mace and turn it into a flaming mace. It doesn't look like it actually changes much other than the fact that it might generate some light. And uh, yeah, it, it'll set things on fire. Which, a little bit of extra damage, probably pretty nice. Okay, well actually no, it looks like it's just going to provide some light. Uh, but I actually am pretty darn happy with that. Uh, let's not run into the explosive bunny. I will never confess to having killed myself on explosive bunnies. Definitely has not happened. Yeah, not once, not never. So let's make the run through. Uh, only a jellyfish to worry about. I don't think that grenade's gonna reach. Nope. But that's okay. I don't have to worry about the jellyfish. I just need to worry about this black slime, which I did not know was here. And that bat. This is the moment we become masters of the art of boxing ourselves in. I'm gonna collect the rest of this silver ore. I'm very glad that pot did not drop a bomb. Because, yeah, last time I tried to farm this stuff, uh, bats. Bats everywhere. Very unfortunate. I would like to get that money back, but I don't know if that's worth it. I don't think it is. Uh, now I have the very delicate task of getting out of here alive. And uh, not liking my odds, but... Oh yeah, this bat's coming. Well, getting something. Look at that. Uh, that grenade's not falling. Yeah, okay. Uh, now the question's gonna be, can I kill them quickly enough? to actually uh, make any headway here. No. No, I cannot. But I got all the silver, so that's a plus. Uh, this place is going to be a... I don't know if mushroom biomes can become a graveyard, but it will be one very soon. Because uh, I have a lot of tombstones scattered about. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, it's a graveyard. Quiet neighborhood. We got an achievement for it, too. But we'll be out of here soon enough. A lucky horseshoe. That is about as good a result as I could have hoped for. So, excellent. Uh, this saga was worth it. We're going to keep moving down and see if I can find anything else exciting. A penguin statue. A bit more ore and a lot of lava. Uh, I can go ahead and grab myself some obsidian while no, I can't. Pickaxe not strong enough for obsidian. Ow, cave bats hurt. Uh, so looks like I'm in for some digging. All right, that is terrifying. That is a spider biome. Uh, any chests nearby? Possibly. Am I ever going to pursue them? Not right now. Not right now at all. Oh, so many bats and cobwebs. Uh, anything to be seen nearby? No. I can check the mini-map, though. Okay, with the saga of the gold chest out of the way, it's uh, going to be time to explore the surface a little bit. We're going to head off to the left and the right uh, and see if we can find anything worthwhile. I will need to start building some extra housing. Uh, so if I find a nice desert, I will very likely take some time, collect some sand, 
build a little bit of uh, starter housing. See if I can get some new NPCs to move in and get my um, get my uh, pylon. That's what it's called. Get my pylon set up. All right. So first point of interest, a, a giant tree right next to a giant lake of lava. Which, okay, I can deal with that. Let's see what's down in the bottom here. We do have a side room. And it's nothing too exciting. Uh, the living stuff will be nice if I decide to build later. And I am full up. Alright, just wanted to check the bottom of the tree. Sometimes you can find a nice, easy, cheap heart crystal or something, but not this time. Okay, off to the left side of the world, we have ice. Okay, that's fair enough. And looks like this will be uh, leading into some corruption, if I had to guess. Uh, things kind of looking a little purple down there, but that could just be a trick of the lighting. There we go. So we're in the desert now. I will have to deal with these vultures very carefully. I'm sure I will die horribly at some point. But so far, so good. Ah, uh, now it is officially nighttime. Um, but we do have an oasis here. A good source of palm wood. A good source of... Uh, well, building location. So, probably right over here. We'll try and set up. Now, not the time, though. We have much more to do. Oh, no. I do not have the mobility to climb that dungeon. So, uh, that's it for this side of the world. We know what we're looking at. Right, to our immediate right, it appears we have another tree that is suspended next to a lake of lava. So we're just going to bridge over and grab a couple of extra chests here. Okay, well, the bottom of that tree didn't have anything extra, but I am going to take this opportunity to cave a little more extensively, uh, mostly because it's nighttime out there, and nighttime is scary. I'm already being chased and hassled by this, this zombie. I've killed several. There's a chest, a blowpipe, demonic, so nice there, but still not quite what I'm looking for. Run away. Okay, so we are going to have desert right off to the side here, uh, which, okay, I'm okay with another desert. I am definitely okay with this topaz tree. Let's light it up. Disable a casual dart trap. Uh oh, run away. Flee the boulders. Flee the chain of boulders. Eh, not even that bad. Alright, just trying to collect some boreal wood. Just trying to get a, a start on maybe, maybe crafting a little bit of a desert base. But uh, these ice slimes are not making it easy. Luckily, I, I'm uh, not, not, too, not too worried. Not too scared. Not yet. Just want to clear this hilltop, and then we'll make my way over to the desert. Live bombs will uh, expedite the process, I suppose. Also, very quickly learning the value of this bow, uh, as opposed to trying to mace things. Uh, the mace is uh, a little dangerous, I think, for what I'm trying to do. Which is mostly not die. Well, things start to look awfully scary over there, don't they? Uh, we'll give them a wide berth for now. 
Will this be box housing? Yeah, probably. And will I apologize for it? Not at all. All right, well, that was timed pretty well. Uh, this is the quintessential working with what you got build. Uh, I will come back and, and dress these up at least a little bit more. But for the moment, they are going to get me started. I am going to move our demolitionist out here. Uh, I guess as soon as I craft a chair. 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 A demolitionist. So our nurse is already over here. She's going to get moved back to the, the spawn pretty quickly. But now that it is almost nighttime, or actually I guess now that it is nighttime, I'm going to uh, hop off to the side for a moment. And hopefully everybody will uh, spawn themselves in. If I can get myself... Oh my god, a slime staff. Are you kidding me? Are we seeing this? I just got a slime staff. For reference, that's like a one in several thousand. Actually, I'm going to stop. I'm going to look that up and see what the odds are. The slime staff generally has the rarest drop chance of any weapon, with minor exceptions. The, trip the typical drop rate from most slimes and slime zombies is 1 in 10,000. Or 1 in 7,000. I guess that's probably the expert mode rates. But outrageous. This run is now blessed. Uh, yeah, go get them, buddy. Look at him go. The damage is terrible. He's not useful at all, but I got a slime staff. Hey, at least he'll keep people busy. Shop. Uh, happiness. No smoking in here. I can test new bombs without creating. Yeah, okay. I was kind of hoping that I would get myself uh, a pylon for this, but I guess not. I don't know if there's any other prerequisite for pylons, but whatever. We got a, we got a new base built. We got some NPCs moving in. I'm going to try, uh, despite the darkness, I'm going to try and rope my way up here with my new slime staff. Outrageous. I can't believe it. I think... I've played this game for, I mean, probably close to a thousand hours at this point. And this is, like, my second slime staff ever. I can't believe it just happened on camera. It's, it's crazy. Ah, here we are. Just past our desert base, we have some corruption. I will not make it through here alive. Although, with negative fall damage, I can try to find the bottom of some, one of these... Ooh, 175. Okay. Actually, with everything else going on, I said, you know what? I'm just going to go uh, loot around underground for a little while, see what I can find. Uh, and I found this other mushroom biome. Well, I'd, I've already found it, but I decided to explore this other mushroom biome and have subsequently discovered two more gold chests and two more life crystals. Uh, and might I say how much safer I feel. Well, I was going to say how much safer I feel with this slime uh, dealing with a lot of the threats, holding some people off. But this is fine. I've got good, good loot coming. Ooh, band regeneration. That's nice. I need the regen. I'll replace the step stool for now. Oh, well, that bomb's gonna help. Ooh, Shelly. Uh, let's break out the big guns for this. Those Shellys actually prove quite bothersome. Okay, okay, run away. Actually, I've got quite a bit of money, so let's run away for realsies.
All right, great news. I had to get away from impending danger to uh, share it, but we just found ourselves a hook, which means we're going to get a grappling hook, which means we're going to have a much better time here very soon. I am going to casually dig down right here and then uh, pull out an old strategy from our last series that we all know and love. I'm going to... Oh, no, 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 no. I fell. Bomb my way down onto this giant ore vein. Uh, and uh, hopefully not die in the meantime. Haha! -ha, subjecting myself to more tedious mining pays off with an extra life crystal down below. Uh, with a giant Shelly to deal with first. Luckily, I've got some indirect damage to deal with it. I'm just going to be very careful and very patient about it. There we go. Certainly going to pop that. What are we at? 280 now. Very good. Oh, that's a ghost. Let's get a slime boy over there on it. Take that. Oh, no. Woo, what timing. Uh, in this chest, we have another flare gun. We do have a suspicious-looking eye, which could be very nice. The extra silver bars are also very welcome. That's probably enough for us to complete our armor set. Put a torch right there. See if I can spot anything with that. Not really. That is a very weird looking statue. I don't know what that is. Oh, that was not quite where I wanted to land. And I still don't have a grappling hook. I right, will craft that right now. There we go. We're now in full silver armor. I have a set bonus of three extra defense from the full set. Is it worth it? I'm not. I'm still not totally convinced it is, but we've accrued the silver to make it anyways. Uh, the other thing I want is a slime crown, please, but I have found zero rubies, so I guess we're not quite going to make it there. But up to 49 platinum bars, so that's feeling good, too. I wonder... No, not nearly enough for that set. Although that is a pretty good jump. Uh, we're going to hold off on that. I, will, I already have the Platinum Bow. I may take a Platinum Broadsword just for good, reliable damage. Uh, probably a little wasteful of me. I know some people will probably be going nuts about that. Uh, but I am creating a chain. And the chain is going to be a hook. Grappling hook. Yes, please, and thank you. That's really nice. Boop. Now we're ready. Now my big concern is the Eye of Cthulhu can spawn in at any time, and I certainly don't feel ready for the Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, I'll have to create uh, a, a nice little arena, and I think I might do that just now. Because I did have that suspicious-looking eye. So, uh, if I cannot craft the summon for uh, King Slime, maybe Eye of Cthulhu is a nice alternative. Okay, let's, let's end this episode off with some excitement. I did get my whole fresh, nice-looking armor set. Uh, you know what? Let's be a little cocky about it. I uh, have crafted up... Well, not many potions, but a few potions. And uh, I'm just going to give it a try. We'll see what happens. Uh, wasting the good arrows on him. Slime staff. Let's buff up. And let's go. Let's just have a fight. I expect to die terribly, but you never know. 
I've got the running. I've got three jumps. I've got a uh, reasonable arena for this kind of fight. Oh, that is a lot of health. Go ahead and use that grappling hook. I need to remember that I have it. Ooh, 62 damage. Alright, going pretty well so far as far as taking hits is concerned, but I am worried about my damage output, because it is pretty slow right now. Uh-oh. Alright, now we're getting into phase two. This is where the fight will get much, much scarier. He is much faster than me still. Yeah, much faster than me still. Okay, that's going to be a problem. I'm out of the good arrows. And that's a hit. Oh, I need to get further out than that. I don't like it this. I don't like this at all. I need to run much, much faster. Okay. Well, now that the dashes are kicking in, it's going to be much, much harder to dodge. Although, for the record, it's, what, now about midnight? And, uh, he's... Sitting a little under, or actually really low on health. So, yeah, we can definitely take this. A uh, little bit more damage, a few more. I have plenty of fallen stars to craft up more arrows. That's not a big deal. I just need to dodge a little better. So we'll do a little bit more gearing up in the next episode. That's going to do it for episode number two of our For the Worthy series. Uh, yeah, all the usual YouTube stuff applies. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Otherwise, everybody, have a great day. We'll catch you in the next one.